the Isla Tola of Rockerella, Le Champion, a little bit of the Bubble, and many other things that he has talked about in the last 20 plus years. I'm Boss Lope 6, back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing my SummerSlam ranking of Chris Jericho. Now, in my previous video, I talked about Bray Wyatt and the match that I'm going to be talking about here again a little bit. Chris Jericho has certainly left an impact on SummerSlam. Has every match been good? Not really, no. There's some stinkers that he's had. But a majority of the list that he's been on, there are some pretty good and underrated gems here. But through those gems, we go through the duds. With 11 matches in total, let's go to number 11, his uh, little part in the uh, WWE versus Nexus thing in 2010. Again, like what I said about Edge, he only got like one elimination, did a couple things, and then they got eliminated, and then beat up John Cena. And that's about it. Literally nothing else happened. So, we're moving on from that. Number 10. Him and, uh, him and Big Show versus Crime Time. This is SummerSlam 2009. It's for the WWE Tag Team Titles. It's really sad to talk about Shad Gaspar considering what happened to him. Um, earlier this year, or was it last year? I think it was earlier this year, I believe. It's really sad to hear what happened to Shad. Man died a hero, saving his kid, and all that stuff. He wasn't terrible in the ring, though Jericho kind of gave him shit because, you know, he said he, was, he wasn't protective enough. Crime Time weren't my favorite tag team. They managed to make that gimmick work. But at the same time, they were all worth the fans, and I can see why people like them. With that said, this match was just kind of meh at best. It wasn't really anything to write home about, to be honest. So, we're going to move on from one tag team to another tag team match. Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens versus Enzo Cass. This is uh, SummerSlam 2016, comes in number 9. Match wasn't really anything to write home about, except Owens being Owens and, you know, doing it. Whatever the hell Enzo construes to be a dance move. <clears throat> the less of Enzo cast the better, but anyways. Yeah, it was just a tag match that was just on the main card of SummerSlam. So, not, not a lot to hear. Number 8. Him vs. Ric Flair, 2002. This was in the midst of their feud in 2002 where... Flair and Jericho would have matches and they, you know... Win back and forth, and then they have another match at Unforgiven for the IC title, which Jericho won, and then Flair turned heel and joined uh, Triple H, and you know all that shit. This match was fine. Um, Flair getting the win was kind of fun. This this match was fine. Nothing or nothing of substance, but it was it wasn't bad. Number seven, number seven, number six had turns flopping around because this list from here on out was a little bit difficult to make. Number seven, Triple Threat from 2004. It was Edge, Jericho, and Batista, Triple Threat for the AC title. Again, like what I said about the Edge's ranking, it was the match where Jericho was mainly the face when Edge was the face, but it was in Canada, and Canada was Bizarro World. Yeah, this match was just odd. A very, very odd match. Again, nothing really right to write home about. Edge won. whoop de doo Number six, his part of the Elimination Chamber 2003. This is where people may get a little, you know... They may give me a look in this in this uh, video saying, Really? You put that here and not a little, you know, not in the top five? Here's my reasoning. Yes, Jericho did fantastic in this match. He took a spear through the pod. He had a great showing with Michaels. And he did a good showing with um, Nash with that little feud. That was like a brief feud where I think after this, uh, Nash went to go film The Punisher. Which is a film. That's all I'm going to say. That's a film and it's not... It's not terrible, but it's stupidly fun. I'll just put it at that. Um, and that little thing, and then he, you know, joined up with Randy Orton, they took, you know, they kind of, you know, joined forces in the chamber, and then Jericho did Jericho shit, and then just got mauled by Goldberg. So yeah, Jericho did good in this match, but mainly the only reason why is because 
I said this before in the Worst Elimination Chamber Matches video. The ending killed it for me. If Goldberg, if Goldberg would have won the match, this would have been way higher. And this would have been probably one of the best Elimination Chamber Matches of all time. But instead, we had to get the stupid ass ending where Goldberg got buried. And Triple H had a groin injury. Hence, he had to wear biker shorts. And, yeah, it, it, that and just killed it for me. I, I hated that ending. That's one of the worst pay-per-view endings of any, any company. Number five. This was a bit odd. Him versus Rhino, 2001. This is when Jericho was, you know, talking shit about Seth calling her, you know, disgusting, bottom-feeding trash bag hoe, I think. And then talk about how how big her implants were. I think she actually had implants. Because her tits were like up to here. They were ginormous. And him and The Rock were just talking shit about Seth. It was absolutely hilarious. Um, And Jericho saying, I'm going to take that nasty, greasy, disgusting animal. And then he says, I'll get you too, Rhino. The, Jesus, the shots that Jericho was taking was just absolutely hilarious. This match I thought was fun. I th I drew it. This is one of Rhino's best matches in WWE. Um, the Gore on the outside, you know, the airplane spin, you know, a lot of good stuff here. SummerSlam 2001, very fun show despite it being in the midst of the evasion angle. This was a great match. I absolutely like this match. I thought it was. It's not the best match on the card because that Austin Angle match is beyond, beyond superior from this match. But this match still held up for what it was. Number four, versus Bray Wyatt, 2014. Again, like I said, with the Wyatt, Matt, Wyatt SummerSlam ranking matches, it was fun. A fun match. Again, fun match. That's all I need to say. Number three, Jericho versus Ziggler, 2012. This is when uh, Ziggler still had the money to make briefcase at the time. This is when Jericho came back. Um, because he returned in 2012 at the Royal Rumble to an amazing pop at that at that arena. And then he had that feud with Punk, which was pretty damn good in my opinion. Their, their Mania match was a was pretty good for what it was. And then they had an amazing, amazing Chicago street fight. Because it's the All-State Arena and therefore everything in Chicago kicks a lot of ass. Then I think he took a break for a little bit. Uh, he was floating around the world title scene still, but then he feuded with Ziggler. And this match was pretty damn good. This was a pretty damn good match. I really enjoyed this match. For what it was, very, very fun. Jericho proving he could still hang with the Young Bucks. Not those Young Bucks. Ziggler at least has some personality. <clears throat> or some of it. But anyways. Match was fun. I, I, I enjoyed the match. Number two. Jericho vs. Cena, 2005 for the WWE title. This is when the fans started turning on Cena a little bit. Not like that. Stop thinking about that. You know who you are. This is where fans were starting to boo Cena because they're like, okay, he's 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 starting to get crammed down our throats a little bit. This is when Cena was still pretty green at the time. He got way better as the years went on. But I thought this was a great match. I think it's it's I'd say damn it's underrated. This is one of the most underrated WWE title matches at least in SummerSlam history. Great match, Cena showing that yeah I may be green but I could still hang with the veterans. Um, Jericho just basically pulling out everything to beat Cena, but Cena went clean with the AA and there you go. I I like this match. I fairly enjoyed this match. But number one, his first SummerSlam match, not his first appearance. He made an appearance in 1999, and Jericho and Road Dog had a promo battle. Jericho's first SummerSlam match against Chris Benoit in 2000 for the IC title. Whatever you feel about Benoit, what he's done in the past, you cannot disclaim, you cannot take away his ability in the ring. Again, there's a difference between a person inside the ring and outside the ring. They could be pieces of shit outside the ring, or they could be pieces of shit inside the ring. Who knows? Benoit, great athlete. What he did, psychopathic, psychopathic murderer. With that being said, this is a great goddamn match. 
one of the best IC title matches of SummerSlam history. Not the best. That will probably go to Bulldog versus Brett in 90, 1992. Not being biased. I'm being actually factual. This was a great match. Great clash of styles. This was in the midst of the Benoit and Jericho rivalry that they had going on. Um, they had better matches down the line. This is probably their third. Third best match, I want to say. Again, great match. Nothing you're playing here. Fantastic match all around. Comes in at number one. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about this, folks. What is your least and your favorite SummerSlam match from Chris Jericho? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Join a herd. I'll talk to you guys next video. Peace out.